What's up trainers, welcome back to Training TV. I have something that we haven't really done in a while. It's just a deck profile. Now the deck I have for you today is based off of Eradicate from Evolutions. Its first attack is Crunch. For one energy, you do 10 damage and you discard one of your opponent's energy. I'll explain this as we get more into the deck profile. Now this deck first came to my attention from Aries Fire, Tiger, shout out to you. Um, I, we were starting to talk about how you would play it, how it would be more of a mill deck. Um, there's many versions. Poke Beach, for instance, uh, published a dark version of it. You play it with the Veltal. I tried it, hated it, if I'm being perfectly honest. <laughs> there's a metal version that plays it with, I think, um, Magirna. There is a version that plays it with Houndoom. That Houndoom Radicate deck made an appearance in the recent European tournament. So it was cool to see Radicate out there as I was starting to play it. Now, Aries Fire Tiger played it with Garbodor. And if any of you guys know me, I love Garbodor. So I was like, yes. That's the, that's the version I want to build. So I took that idea, built upon it, um, created my deck list. So that is what I'm presenting to you guys today. One more thing, guys. All of the deck profiles on Trainer TV are meant to be a starting place. We want you to take these lists, make them your own, tell me what cards work, what cards don't work, and we'll just uh, talk back and forth with each other. Anyways, guys, let's get to the list. I'm switching over to the table cam. All right, guys, so we're going to start off with the Pokemon line. Uh, first, we play four Rattata. So this Rattata is really good. Uh, when you play it down, you can discard um, the Pokemon tools attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. So there's a few situations where that comes in handy. Now, this is the main Pokemon of the deck here, Raticate. That uh, first attack there, Crunch, for one energy, you can do 10. Discard an energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. This is what the deck is based around. So kind of the main strategy of this deck is to discard all your opponent's energy. So they have like no resources to attack you whatsoever. And it's kind of like a mill deck in disguise. The second attack, Shadowy Bite there, is also really good if you're playing against a deck with special energy. Uh, this, this deck does play hammers, other things. We'll get to that. We'll continue on with the other Pokemon now, but just remember that crunch there, kind of being the main attack you're going to use in in this deck. So we play, all right, so we play four of the Raticate there. These are the Raticate from uh, Evolutions. We also play two Raticate Break. Um, the attack there is just super good. You can put damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon until they have 10 HP left. Now, a lot of people first wanted to play this with Ariados. I find you don't need it whatsoever. That's more of an attacking version of the deck, whereas this is more of a mill version of the deck. Now, like I said before, I play a different version of this. I play it with the Trubbish there, um, with the Garbodor to shut off the abilities of my opponent's Pokemon. So super good against uh, decks that use Magearna, because um, Magearna does stop that Raticate's first attack. So you do want to play the Garb, I feel, in this deck. Um, I also play two Shaman. Of course, I'm going to play those before I drop the Garbodor down. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah, you're locking yourself out. And then the last line I play, guys, are two of the Ancient Trait Bunnelby. Uh, this is just to get extra mill in there um, with the Burrow there. Or if you need to get cards back into your deck, you can do Roto Tiller. So you can put hammers back, stuff like that. Um, I rarely use this card, so I'm going to test it with maybe a one of. But yeah, guys, that's the Pokemon line, and uh, we'll move on to the supporter. Since this is a mill deck, I do play 4N, guys, because I am never drawing a prize card, usually. But, you know, there's games where you do. Um, but N is always a great card. Um, if you don't draw any prize cards, you're always drawing your six, so that's nice. I actually only play two Sycamore in this deck. Um... I just find that's that's all that I need. This is a deck I uh, added last minute at the tournament, Ace Trainer, but I can uh, I want to play around with this line a little bit more. Maybe there's uh, more to it because um, they are gonna probably be knocking out you know a Red Tata early game, and if you can get this r out right away, it'll you know get them down to three. I play three Team Flare Grunts. Uh, some lists like the list I think in in Europe played four, so I might try that out. 
But uh, three has been working well for me. Two, Lysander. I um, actually noticed this is the supporter I play the most of, especially getting them back with my Versus Seekers. Um, with Raticate's first attack, discarding the energy, uh, they'll start attaching to their bench because they know that if they attach to the active, you'll just knock it out. Two more supporters, guys. I play one Delinquent. Um, I use this a few times. I want to think about certain strategies of how to use this better in this deck, but I do like it. But we'll see. We'll see how uh, further play testing goes. And I do play one of Brock's Grit just because if I play the Rod, I might have to discard it early game. So I, I always want the supporter, you know, version. I can I can pull it back with a Versus Seeker. So guys, there it is. There is my current supporter line. Let me know what you guys think if you uh, build this online or test with it. Um, all right, on to the trainer line, guys. I use uh, two Floatstone here for the garb. Um, sometimes I'll attach to Shaman as well. I play two level ball. These can get out uh, Rattatas, Raticates, Trubbish. You know, they're just great for those guys. So two of those, four Ultra Ball guys. I uh, started with more level ball, but any, any deck that really uses two Shaman or a Shaman in general, does need four Ultra Balls to get those going. I play four Versus Seeker. Um, it's pretty standard stuff. Four Crushing Hammer to aid me um, in energy discarding, especially when maybe I don't have a Lysander they attach to the bench. Um, I can get those energies off, as well as if they're using Max Elixirs, um, attaching two or more energy you know, per turn. These will help aid get those energies off of them. For the same reason, I'm using two Enhanced Hammers. Most decks use one. I find with Raticate's Attack, if your opponent is using Special Energy, attaching to your bench, just using these guys will help out your Raticate a lot. Get those energies off. So these six Hammers together, paired with Raticate's Attack, paired with Flare Grunt, are just, is just nasty. Now I play two Faded Town. Um, at first, I was like, why do I want to play this card um, when Ares and I were first talking about it? But it's super good with uh, Raticate Break. Uh, when you're going against those huge, strong Megas, you just uh, use that Break's attack to get him down to 10 HP, and then this Faded Town will knock him out in between turns. That's another reason why I don't use Ariados. I can take care of the small Pokemon by discarding their energy, but if it's a big Mega and that can swing for one or two energy, um, then the Faded Town helps out a lot, and I don't have to spend the time with a Pokemon line. The last trainer card I play is one Parallel City. This came in clutch in the tournament against some of the uh, Rayquaza decks. Um, some of the Gardevoir decks that just have a ton of Pokemon on their bench. Uh, just drop this out. <laughs> now to the energy line, guys. I won't remove the trainers because these are just a few of them. I play five Psychic. Since most of my Pokemon are colorless, it doesn't really matter what uh, energy these are. But I was like, hey, if I'm in a dire situation and like I have to attack with Garb, I might as well have Psychic Energy. <laughs> as ridiculous as that sounds. Yeah. Of course, if you're playing the middle version or the dark version, you replace these with those. On top of the five energy, I also play two double colorless. I use this for Raticate Break and Shaman for Sky Return. If I ever get into a situation where I just need to spam Shaman, um, then yeah, I'll use these as well. So yeah, guys, that's the list. I hope you enjoyed, like I said. Like I said, this is my current list. It might change, might fluctuate. Try it out. Just put in this list right for now. Let me know what you guys find. Is there a card I should take out? Is there a card I should add to it? The thing I like about uh, this channel, this community, guys, is that we can talk together and build a deck together. It's not me presenting like, oh, you know, I'm great at the card game. Here's a deck list. Use it and you'll do well. No, decks always come with practice. They come with refining. So that is kind of what I want to do here with you guys as a community. Well guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up for me. If this is your first time here, I'd love for you to subscribe. But I'll see you guys tomorrow for our league vlog. Train on.